Hello, welcome to Comparing Lists with Conditional Formatting. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. A common task in Excel is list comparisons, or comparing two lists, right? And, and the basic idea is which items are in one list and not in the other, or which items are in both lists, right? To illustrate this, I've come up with a very simple um, example, which is a bank rec, right? And our simple question is, which checks uh, from the check register have also uh, uh, cleared the bank or have cleared the bank. So they also appear in the bank download list. Or, you know, which items in the check register do not appear in the bank download? In other words, which checks are still outstanding? Okay, and there are many ways to accomplish any given task, including list comparisons. Uh, for example, we could use formulas with functions like VLOOKUP or MATCH. We could use Power Query. And Tony actually posted this technique in a Excel University blog post comment. So thank you, Tony, for, for sharing this. And this is such a cool little technique. I wanted to help him spread the word um, by doing this, this blog post. And here's how it works. It just uses conditional formatting, one of my favorite Excel features. And you begin by selecting the columns you want to compare. We want to compare the check num and ID columns. We don't want to compare uh, or include the amount columns. Okay, so we're going to include the check num column, press and hold the control key, and then select the other column. Right, so to select, you know, uh, separate ranges, you click and drag, hold down control, and then click and drag. All right, with both of these columns selected, now the magic happens conditional formatting. We had to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values. Excel displays the duplicate values dialog, and we can ask Excel to identify the duplicates. That is the checks that appear in both lists, right? Those are the duplicates. And we can pick whatever kind of formatting we want. We're going to go with green and click OK. And just like that, without any formulas, um, it's easy for us to see the items that appear in both lists. In other words, which checks have cleared the bank, okay? Cool, right? I know, but it gets better. Check this out. Let me go ahead and clear these rules from entire sheet. And now let's say we wanted to identify those checks that are outstanding. Which checks appear here but have not cleared the bank? How do we do that? Let's select our columns again. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values. This time, we're going to select unique and we can pick whatever kind of format we want and then click OK. And so this is saying which items appear in only one of the lists. They don't appear in both. They're not duplicates. They're unique values. They appear in only one list. Now it's easy to see which checks are outstanding because these checks, you know, these red ones do not appear over here. And it looks like we also have a bank charge that's not recorded in the books. Okay. And that is the very elegant and simple and beautiful and wonderful technique for list comparisons with conditional formatting. Thanks, Tony. But there's one more little twist we can do, and that is this. If the lists are short, okay, then it's easy just to stop here because we can see um, the values that we're after. But what if these lists were long? What if they spanned 1,000 or 10,000 rows? Can we somehow tell Excel just to display like just the outstanding checks? And the answer is yes. All we need to do is right click, filter, filter by selected cells color. And when we do that, Excel hides all the other rows and just leaves the outstanding checks or just the red ones. All right. And let me go ahead and uh, clear that. And we could also select this one if we wanted to, because it's it's formatted red. Right click, filter, filter by selected cells color. And now we got it, okay? So that is a very cool way to perform list comparisons with conditional formatting. Once again, thanks, Tony, for that great tip. Um, hope it helps you get your work done faster. Thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.